With the capture and loading of 24 elephants complete, our next objective is to safely transport these elephants to their new home, Zanav National Park in Mozambique. The journey is complex and dangerous. The distance, almost 900 miles, and the drive time, nearly 36 hours straight, means the long road ahead presents a challenge at every turn. In darkness, the elephant truck set out from South Africa. We're following in the support vehicle. 90 minutes in, we arrive at the Swaziland border crossing. Crossings are a nervous time for everyone, and ERP officials have spent months getting all the legal paperwork and permits together, but there's always a chance that the elephants are denied entry. After all, it's not every day customs officials see 24 elephants enter their country. It took a while, but we are through the first border and into the kingdom of Swaziland. Remember, this is essentially a race to get the elephants to their new habitat. Delays will put their lives at risk. That's why truck drivers work in pairs. One drives, the other rests. Well, the thing is, we, we can't stop on long time, so we have, to, we have to keep on going. The trucks stop only for fuel, to have food delivered, and, of course, to check on the elephants. The animals are becoming agitated. It is time for the first of many vet checks. We check them every three hours and we top up on the, on the stress nodes just to relax them. It's a, it's a calming, calming drug. Adding to tensions, the elephants cannot eat or drink in the trucks. They would fight for the food and water endangering themselves. This physical stress only adds to the danger of the translocation. The more the elephants stay, in the trailer, the more stressful it is, and the more dehydrated they get. Six hours in, well after midnight, we arrive at the Mozambique border, another tense but successful crossing. At this point, exhaustion is setting in. The capture began over 21 hours ago. We take turns napping and rotating drivers. As daylight arrives, we see the landscape. The two-lane highway runs through a few cities, but mostly it's rural scenes of villagers walking with goods balanced on their heads or selling fresh fruit at roadside markets. For the truck, each stop for gas or vet checks attract curious onlookers. In the village of Mapinyan, young and old, male and female, surround the trucks, jostling for a look at these majestic creatures. Sadly, this is the first time many have ever seen an elephant. But this commotion is also dangerous for all involved. The animals are frightened and uneasy. We quickly refuel and depart. We have been driving for over 24 hours and nerves are sky high. The most dangerous leg of the journey is yet ahead. The last eight hours and 200 miles take us along a rutted dirt road flanked by jungle and we must drive on this road at night. The living cargo is now becoming increasingly agitated. The trailers teeter side to side, and the drivers struggle to maneuver. A recent rainstorm has left huge holes in the road. If the trailers tip or stick in the mud, the relocation is doomed. We get stuck, and then we've got all the elephants, and we have to try and get them out. So we just hope we don't get stuck and we just carry on. It is 3 a.m. We have been driving for 32 hours straight, and you can hear the pain in the elephant's cries. <laughs> Adding to the danger, the road is poorly marked. One wrong turn may take you miles off course. In addition to that stress, our low fuel light flashes on. The pressure is mounting. 24 lives are at stake. The final moments are crucial. Just before 4 a.m., we arrive at Sanav National Park. It is a dangerous situation. Slowly! As the team positions the truck, I climb on top of the slippery trailer. We have to get them out immediately. There's a cow in here who's trying to protect her calf, and they're ending up getting into a bit of a tussle inside the transport truck, so speed is of the essence right now. The next moments were some of the most surreal of my entire life. The doors slide open. It is a struggle 
The animals are dehydrated, hungry, and confused. Some of these elephants have been inside the trucks for nearly 44 hours. Remember the cow who fell on her sternum during the darting? She is fiercely protective of her calf now and becomes aggressive with another member of the herd. I reach down to encourage them to leave the truck. Slowly, sometimes one at a time, sometimes in groups, the elephants make their way down the ramp and into the darkness as they head for the safety of the waiting jungle canopy. A few moments later, all 24 elephants are released into their new home. If you had to ask us whether or not we would make this choice to translocate these elephants again, every single one of us would say yes, as traumatic as this forced experience was for them, because the alternative was death. But how will the elephants respond to their new home? Will they even survive their first night? Coming up, we'll go into the bush at daybreak to check on the herd in Zanab National Park.